we need to arm and train ourselves. Our founding fathers knew there would be days like this. That Our founding fathers grew up in a time of terrorism coming over the border, the French-Indian War. The French paid the Indian tribes to wipe out our, our cities. Uh, and, and, and the American Revolution, the, the British paid the Indian tribes to attack. The War of 1812, the, the British paid the Indian tribes to attack. We, we, God bless them all. We're all on the same team now. But the point is that our founding fathers lived in times like these. They knew what to do. The only possible answer, the answer Israel's found, facing this threat for 50 years, is to armed, trained people everywhere. Isn't that what the Second Amendment says? Yes. Why is it so yes. difficult, do you think, Lieutenant Colonel, that some people simply can't understand that the Second Amendment actually says what it means, and it actually means what it says? Why do they fight us? What, What's the I'll tell you what it's about. They know they're not going to stop crime. They, they, they see the most horrendous massacres are in, in Latin America with draconian gun laws. The most horrendous uh, school massacre was in Germany. Uh, with 17 dead in Erfurt, 15 dead in, in Wittenden. Two horrible school masters that are un- unlike anything America's seen. But I thought that only happens here. Our oh, president tells us that this is unique yeah, to America. We need to, yeah, we need to emulate Australia. We yeah, need to emulate yeah, Great Britain. Don't, doesn't he uh, say these things? It's happening worldwide. But our defense that these others don't have is the armed and trained American citizen. Exactly. But they know that these gun laws won't prevent crime. They don't fear the criminal. They fear you. They fear armed citizens. They want power. It's not about gun control. It's about people control. And as long as we have armed American citizens, they'll never succeed.